Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic for today's second puzzle video. Um, of course, there is another video talking about the ARG, the alternate reality game, um, and the final revelation from it that we are planning a book that we're hoping to get funded through Kickstarter. Um, and links below the video, indeed. Um, we're really looking forward to that. Now, what's going on at the moment, though? People who've been up spending sleepless nights on the ARG might wish to know that um, there's still time to try the uh, Pirate Puzzle Hunt that was the Patreon content for this month by Scott Strosal. Absolutely brilliant set of puzzles. Um, answers have been coming in every day since the beginning of the month. Uh, there is still time, at least a week before we publish a solution video and names of the winners, not the winners, but the successful solvers. Um, now, this puzzle is one of a series of slingshot Sudoku by Stefan Bura, who mentioned them to us, and then very shortly after that, Udikos, who's a brilliant constructor himself, wrote to us and especially recommended this variant of the puzzle. Now, in slingshot Sudoku, you get these little uh, 90 degree arrows in the grid and let me try and explain clearly what they mean. They mean that if you have say the number one here and the number three here, three I say, there, then the one gets slingshotted following the arrow three cells down and also appears here. One, two, three. So that's how these arrows work. They refer to the number that is the source is at the source of the arrow and then how far down or along the grid that number is transported to appear again so that's what we've got it's a slightly complicated concept i tried one of the other puzzles and it was wrecking my head a bit but uh nonetheless i'm going to have a go at this one now there is an extra rule in this puzzle as well as obviously we have normal sudoku rules as well but here we have a gray ring and in the gray cells the numbers seven, eight, and nine do not appear. So that's gonna make this interesting, I think. Do have a try on the link below the video. Um, and I can have a go now, so let's get cracking. I think, yeah, let's start with this ring. If those can't be seven, eight, and nine, well, I think that's particularly interesting in row three, row seven, column three and column seven, which contain all those gray cells. Where are, where are nine, eight, and seven gonna be? They're clearly going to be in these outside parts. Now, a vital thing to learn about slingshot Sudoku is you cannot have a nine on an arrow, because even if you put a nine there, that's counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's counting to outside the grid. So if you can't have a nine on an arrow, where are you gonna put a nine in each of these rows and columns, actually, I think they're all absolutely predetermined. They have to be in the one remaining empty cell in the row and column. So those nines can just go straight in like that. Um, that's also giving us some pencil mark nines we can put in in the even numbered boxes. Yeah. Now, I suppose what about eight? Oh, well, look, at the end of these rows, and indeed the columns, there are arrows pointing at each other. Now, this can't be an 8 here, for the, exactly the same reason that no arrow can be a 9, because it would be pointing outside the grid. So 8 must be at the end of each of these columns and rows. I'm going to pencil mark it into those end positions. And because they're all sharing boxes, there's either an offset pattern of eights like that, or the alternative offset pattern like that. Now, I don't think we know which yet, but eights in boxes one, three, seven, and nine are clearly restricted to those two, posi two positions. Sorry. Now, sevens. Let's have a look at sevens. Um, well, Ah, no, okay, that is seven away from there. So seven in row three is restricted to those two cells. Same reason, that can't be a seven in row seven, so it's in those two. 
that's the one that can't be a seven as long as my counting's right in column three and that can't be a seven in column seven so again the sevens in those rows and columns mean mean that seven is restricted to these cells which is a slightly different set of offsets and maybe some of those could coexist without forcing each other i'm not sure about that no hang on that one would force that one would force that one would force that one and that one would force that one would force that one yeah these are two specific possible patterns of sevens just as they were for eights beautiful symmetry um But now, oh look, this arrow, actually we can... No, I'm getting my head mixed up again. Um, I don't think we can fill that in. That is not necessarily referring to, in fact, it's not referring to these nines. It's referring to this cell and something that appears somewhere along here. So it could actually be a seven in both cells if that was a five. Um... Ah, but this arrow, sorry, this nine is what this cell is referring to. So that is pointing five cells up. That must be a five there. Yeah, that's definitely right. Um, but I don't think we can get much else from the smaller numbers yet. Oh, I suppose these eights actually, they do lead to some deductions about the eights in the even numbered boxes they must always be in the middle rows that one can't be an eight because it's pointing outside the box so eight is restricted to those cells seven's a bit harder to determine because these sort of offsets don't give anything away for those uh, so maybe we'll leave that we're gonna have to find a way to try and disambiguate these eights and sevens what if this if this was an eight ah that is very interesting this then couldn't be seven because this arrow would be saying that that number is the same as this number and that can't be seven because seven's restricted to those two cells in box one so if that's eight then this can't be seven so seven in the row must be here and these are pointing to the same cell. Well, that's possible because the same number could be there and there, hitting those arrows and getting slung into that cell. But this cell over here could not be eight or seven. Ah, eight or seven would then be there and there in box three. And that doesn't work because they're pointing to the same cell down here and yet they're pointing those two numbers into the same cell. So those two numbers would have to be the same, which breaks all Sudoku rules. And therefore, this is not eight, which is seems to me incredibly complex, but it does resolve instantly all the eights, and I think all the sevens. Let's put the eights in that we immediately know about. And that, yeah, that has instantly restricted the positions for seven in those boxes down to those. Let's get rid of eight markings that aren't right. And suddenly we've placed eight, nine, and seven in all of these corner boxes. Now, ah, oh, now that seven is the number referred to here. So that's a five as well, because that's where seven appears. Now I've got to try and not miss the opportunity when we fill in a box right there, eight. Where does eight appear in this row? One, two, three, four or five, three or five, and we now know it can't be a five. So that's a three, that puts eight there. That three now appears eight cells along from there, so that goes in there, fantastic. Whatever number that is, appears three along there. So I'm gonna color those just so I know they're the same. I mean, they could be anything from one, two, four or six, as far as I can see. Now that's great, we've really used what was coming now. Eight there is the number being slung in here. And it's, I, oh no, it could be in any of those. Okay, that's not so helpful. Although that can't be a three, so not that one. 
I don't know. I feel it's likely to be a one or a seven and putting an eight in one of those two, but that's not for me to say. Right, sevens though. Sevens are now more restricted in the even numbered boxes. In fact, always to the outside of them. Ah, eight there. So where, oh, it's the same thing as here. We just don't know where eight appears in this row. Ah. Um, ah, oh, eight, no, that one's done. Okay, sorry. Nine, five, yes. Uh, oh, seven up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is an eight. So that places an eight in this cell. Let's get rid of these useless pencil marks. So now eight in the middle is in one of these three. Actually, I don't think it can be in this one because there is no eight below that slingshot arrow. So eight's in one of those two. Ah, well now that's interesting for this one. Now eight in this row can only be there or there, making this only a one or a seven, I think. Um, but I don't know which it is. Oh, okay. Ah, now nines. Yeah, 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 this doesn't work. That arrow is pointing, that is the same as that cell. Because of that eight arrow, it's slingshotting that green up to there. That means it's not nine. And over here, Nine in there would need a seven here to get up to there, so that's not a nine. So the nine in the bottom row is here in the middle. Uh, and not there at the top. Can that be a nine? No, again, that would need a seven there. That's not a nine, so we can place nine up at the top. Uh, these two, I don't think we can resolve those. As far as, ooh, hang on, maybe that can't be a nine. That would need a seven here as well. Yes, that cannot be a nine. So nine is there. Uh, that fixes nine over here. Oops, trying to get the nine right. And that gives us the last nine in the grid. Bam, nines are done. Now what? Seven. Can that be a seven? No, because that is seven away. So that's not a seven. So the seven in the bottom row is here. Aha! And that means this arrow is a one because of seven being there. Oh, can this be a seven? Yes, that would need to be... Ah, oh, that would need to be one now because of that seven. But the greens are the same and that one can't be a one because of Sudoku. So that's not a seven. That one is. This is very intricate logic. This can't be a seven because it would be pointing outside the grid, so we can place seven in the middle box. That gives us a seven here and a seven here, and those are both on arrows. So seven cells along here is an eight. That's here. That's perfectly reasonable. Let's get rid of those. Now seven cells along here, there's an eight. That's almost what we expected, I think. And that gives us the final eight in the grid. So I think all sevens, eights, and nines are all done now. So we can ignore the gray restriction. We've covered that off effectively. Now, if these, how do we make further progress though? We've got a lot of arrows used. What's this one? It's moving that either, well, any number of cells, two, four, five, six, that's not very helpful. This one... I don't know. Oh, this and this are the same because of that eight. Crumbs. I'm going to run out of colours soon. Um, any other arrows that we've got the number filled in and I'm just not using them? Do shout. If you see them, I may be mishearing you. Yes, that eight is pointing to there. So this is a one. So now, red, green, and blue, none of them can be one. 
which doesn't particularly help because I don't know that they're all different. I suppose red and green could be the same. Now this arrow, I keep looking at this and not doing anything. That is the same as one of these three because this can't be seven or nine. So that's three, four or five on that arrow. How about this one? That looks a bit less helpful. This could be one, two, four or six. So it's point, it can't be pointing there because you can't have two the same in the same box. So two, four, five or six to where it's pointing. Can't be five, sorry, I've just seen the five there. Not that helpful again. Now these two then, what are they doing? This green is the same as that. And that green then is pointing down. Ah, oh, well it can't be one, it would be in the same box. Can't be two, can't be eight. So this can only be three or four, and it can only be four therefore. So that number, green, two, three, four, is also there. And now this is either pointing one, two, five, or six down the grid. Now it can't be one, because that would have to be a seven. Two, five, or six. One of those, no, I'm miscounting. Two, three, four, five, or six. Oh. One of those cells is going to get this, whatever that is, two, three, five, or six. I don't see how that helps. Ah, oh, I don't know what, I'm not twigging at the moment. Those greens are the same. Okay, that must be green. No, that could be the green as well. Could green be the same as blue? Yes, I think it could. But green must be in one of those two cells just by the Sudoku of this position. Um, ah, and in one of those two. Now, four, four is in one of those two. In fact, they're from, oops, from two, four, and six, aren't they? And that can therefore be two or six. Am I missing some other arrow that's telling me a really useful tale and I'm just ignoring it at the moment? There's every chance that is the case. Um, it doesn't seem to be much regular Sudoku we can do. Ah, oh, three and, as I say that, three and three are giving a three there. That's stopping that being a three, so now Whatever that is, is in one of those two cells. So this could be green as well, potentially. Eight, seven, nine, this is fairly unrestricted. Although if that was a two, then that would be the same as that, which would be the same as one of these. I'm getting a bit muddled up with my possible same numbers now. We've got one, two, or six there, just by regular Sudoku. Two, five, or six is coming down to here. So that's two, five, or six. Green is two, five, or six. Hmm. Now whatever's there is that number along in this row. That's not very useful to me. One. Ah, oh, one in column one. There's only one place left for it. Yes, that's just regular Sudoku that I'm not spotting. And then five in column one has to be here, which puts five in one of those cells fairly unhelpfully and in one of those. Um, seven, nine, eight. Now, now the green cells can't be five, so they are two or six only. That gives me a two six pair at the top, so that's now five. Six, one, four, or two. That's one, two, or six, which is not a lot of use. 
five, five, again, fives on the gray cells, in fact, in every row. Now that one can't be a five because it's red, which can't be. Oh, this is, I feel I'm closing in a bit now. One, seven, nine, eight, eight, nine, seven, three, eight, seven, nine. Do we know whether it can't be a two or a six for any reason? Can that be a two or a six? Yes, it, in fact it is two, four or six in the blue. Uh, does that place one in one of those two cells? Can that be one? Yes, two, four or six. It couldn't be a one there, for instance. And that's a fairly minor understanding. Now if that was five, we would know that that was a two or six green cell as well. But it could be four. Eight, five. Oh, am I again going back to wondering if I'm just missing some part of this construction that is really helpful and I can't see it. Three, seven, nine, eight. One, two, four, five, six. That's one, two, four, or six, which is not very helpful, but it's being placed in one of those cells, whatever one it is. Now, maybe the question to ask is, can they both be green? If they are, that's a five. Then that would be green as well by regular Sudoku. One of those two would be green, so that would become green. That would have to be green because it's the same as that. Green there. So actually, yes, they could all be green. I still wouldn't know if they're two or six in that case, which is genius in a way. Um, now, that is two, three, or six, just by Sudoku. done that. This three was eight along there. I've done that. I'm just wondering if I've missed one of these cells. Three is either two or six down here and it can't be two. There you go. So that's a six which puts a three down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Six is now the green value. Um, one of these two is six. I don't know if it's the blue. It could easily be. This is not six now. We've got, oh, it can't be three either. That is a number that we're now given, two. So blue can't be two. We've got four, one, and six. In fact, we can place the one now. That's here. That makes blue six. So blue is the same as green. <sighs> And they're not the same as red. In fact, that becomes a two. This must be a four. Red is a four. That gives us a six here. Three, seven, six, four, nine, eight. One, two, five to place now in row three. These can't be four. One, two, six to place. No, that can't be six. Right, let's just tidy up what we've done in case that throws anything else out. Yes, there is a four, two here, three on the bottom, two four pair, don't think I can resolve them. Five, five, one. That is two or four as well, so three is placed in row eight. Uh, that's giving a three somewhere there, which is not very helpful. Now, I've got these two arrows left to use, I think think now. Oh no, look, that's two or four, so six is placed. Um, and six is one of those two. If that was a six, that would be a five. Ah, that's possible. Ah, this number is now one, two, or six, and it's either going here, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six. That is not a six, that is now it's a two. So either one or six is going two down there. In fact, 
that is now going to become one of these two. It must be the six. So those are six as well. Two, six, that makes this a five to make the arrow work. That's used all the arrows. Now the rest, if I'm right, should be classic Sudoku. So let's hope it solves from here. Um, that, oh, these can't be two, that's a one, right, yes, that's nice. So row three done, top three boxes all done now. Uh, they are when I've put that in, three there. So we've got one, four, and five to go in the greys there. Um, one and four to go in there. That's not a one. Ah, so that's a two, four pair, so that fixes that as a one, four there. Now we can take one out of each of those cells. We've got one, two, three to go in here. Never mind about which order, at least that fixes the five down here. Um, oh, please don't tell me I've missed some arrow that's meant to help. Two, that's three or five. That can't be two. This can't be one. This can't be three. I'm ending up with all of these trios of pairs that's two or four here we go again nine, six seven one oh that could be any of these numbers let's get rid of the corner pencil marks because i don't like them anymore and now we're down to this now am i gonna have to do this by an arrow or is this all by regular sudoku have i basically have i missed an arrow that is telling me something here I don't think so, but I would say that. Eight. Oh, what is there? This cell is weird that there's so many possibilities. One, eight, seven, six, nine. <sighs> seven, six, four, nine, eight, two. Surely something have I missed? One of these arrows. So one, two, three, four, and five still to resolve. So it would have to be something where the number pointing to the arrow is determining a one, two, three, four, or five. There aren't many such places. That three, we've done that. That four, we've done that. Oh, what am I missing here? So I must have just left in a pencil mark, perhaps, that is just bogus. Oh, there's a 2-4 pair there that I had not seen. So that comes down to 3 or 5. And still, I'm left with not fully resolved set across the middle. Oh, come on, Mark. You can get this. Surely something here is unwound by something I'm not seeing. That three was six down there. That's been done. Six, two, four, that's six. Maybe this is not a deadly pattern as it looks to me at the moment. What could be going on? Say that was a two, that would be a two, that would be a two. That would put two here. Four would be in the other spots. Five, one, three. That would be one, I don't see why not. Two, sorry, two there, there, and there would put a two here. That seems to work as well. It's one of the, is there an arrow here pointing somewhere that I can't spot that is actually involved in this pattern? It almost must be. Maybe let's try these. 
Oh, there it is. That too is slung six places away. I'm so sorry. That's been painful. If you've been looking at that six and going, why is he not spotting it? It's just because I'm a simpleton, frankly. But that's what I mean about these sorts of puzzles messing with your head. You eventually can't spot total giveaways. So there we go. That is the solution. Let's remove the colouring because that was only to help me. And press the check button. Excellent. So, well done if you did that quicker than me. There's every chance you did. It shouldn't really take 30 minutes, I don't think. So, well done to Stefan as well. Lovely puzzle. Thanks to Udikos for recommending it. And hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.